right, well, welcome to the second part of the Qigong exercises um, for helping you de-stress and calm down a little bit. Uh, the first time we talked about the massaging on the face that you could do and the ears and the pressure points on the face. Um, today we're actually going to do some scalp massage and some massaging of the neck. And um, again, with these, you don't want to use your fingernails, just the pads of your fingers. And so when you put pressure on your scalp, you want the fingers to press and then slide across the scalp with pressure. You don't want to just barely touch it, and you definitely don't want to use your fingernails. So if this is my scalp, then I just slide across with the pads of the fingers. Okay? So the first one, these will mess up your hair a little bit, so just be prepared for that. Um, but you take your fingertips, and you're going to start at the front of your scalp, and just put pressure on the scalp and slide back from the front all the way, going all the way back to the back of the head. And you go back to the front and do the same thing. And again, these do mess up your hair quite a bit, so. And you want to do that at least three times. You can do it more than three times if you want to, but at least three times. Okay. Then the next one, again, taking the fingertips, you're just going to tap on your scalp. Starting at the front, working all the way back to that same area that you were at before. And start at the front, do it again. And you can go to the sides a little bit. but do it at least three times, or as many times as you want to. Then the next one, again taking the fingertips, you're going to place your fingertips on your scalp, again I'm pretending this is my scalp here even though it's my hand, and when you place them on, you move them around to massage the area that they're on. You don't want to slide them around on the scalp, you want them to have pressure on the scalp, and actually move the scalp. So you start at the front, and you make circles, massaging the scalp, then you slide back a little bit and make circles again. And you can do it a little bit faster, but you want to make sure that you're moving the scalp, not just rubbing the surface of the scalp. And work all the way back. Start at the front again. Work all the way back. And last time. Again, at least three times. Once you start doing these, though, they feel really nice, and you might not want to stop at three. Okay, now take a moment, straighten out your hair a little bit. I know mine probably looks like something crazy happened up there, but that's part of it. Um, the next one, again, taking your fingertips. You're going to reach across to the back of your neck on the opposite side. So I use my right hand to reach across to the left side. So I reach across and slide off. And then I reach up with the other hand, grab, slide off. And so you just continue to do that, and it helps massage the neck, it increases circulation to your brain, helps relax the muscles in the neck. A lot of times people start to carry tension in their neck and in their shoulders when they get tense, and when they get stressed, they start to do this. This helps relax the neck area, just reaching across like so. Then you can do similar things for your shoulders. You can reach up here and slide forward, here and slide forward. And this one's a little bit difficult to do with the kind of shirt that I have on right now. Um, but if you were to be in, say, just a t-shirt, or if um, you actually had your, your shoulders exposed so that you could actually have your fingers on your skin, it would make it much easier to do this one. But you just start at the back and slide forward, and start at the back and slide forward. And you can do variations on that, where you just use the fingertips and do circles, and circles, and circles, and go back, and circles circles, just like we were doing on the scalp earlier, and then the same thing here, circles, and circles, and circles. So I'm reaching back with the fingertips, pressing the fingertips on the muscle, and moving it in circles to massage the muscles here, and here. And then again, when you're finished with that, finish by rubbing your hands together to warm them up a little bit, and you're going to rub your face again like we did after we finished the, the face massage. So you would start at the middle, slide up, and then out. And just continue to do so until you feel sufficiently relaxed. I know some of the exercises seem a little bit strange, seem a little bit silly, but um, I think you'll be very surprised after you try them how much different you feel afterwards. So give it a shot and hope you enjoy it. I hope this was helpful for you.